You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and let's play a pair of uh, expensive games, if you're after them in the market, the original copies that is. And this is a pair of Konami games, both recently released in uh, collections available in uh, PS4 and Switch and uh, Steam, I think. I'm not sure about the Steam. And I'm starting it off with uh, Contra Hardcore. Actually, I remembered something. Before I start the game, uh, let me go back to the main menu. And um, in case you didn't know, if you actually change the language... Um, oh boy, hope I remember this. Um, the games will be in Japanese version as well. And um, that's something to note when I'm going to play Contra Hardcore. Because, surprisingly, the Japanese version is easier. I mean, Contra Hardcore is one of the hardest games I've uh, played. Um, that's not saying a lot though. Uh, come on. Okay. And what makes this easier? The very fact that you have a life bar in this game actually. So that's a huge thing for a Contra game. Usually... Hit. There, see? I got hit, I'm still alive. Contra games are usually one hit and you're dead. to the gun there. I haven't uh, played the recent collections though, so I don't know how their emulation goes. If it's better than this one or worse. And once again, I feel that these Konami games are worth the price of admission for the Genesis Mini. I know their aftermarket cartridges cost more than the Mega Drive Mini, the Genesis Mini. Ugh. But I guess then, of course, there's that um, uh, collection. But considering what you get for the package here, I'd say this still... It's actually more worth it for me if you just play this, these games on the, on the Genesis Mini. I actually finished this game once, but um, I'll have to say finished with quotation marks because it's the ending where you travel back in time and you're like uh, 
king of the jungle of some sort, married to a monkey. And uh, the game may be finished, of course, but it's, it's sort of like a joke or bad ending, I guess. But it's the fastest one you can get. I actually remember getting that by accident. I didn't know that I was already getting to into that ending. But I know it was a weird one. Alright. Playing horrendous here. Well, at least you don't lose your gun right away if you get hit. Not quite the same effect you get from compared to the SNES version. Kind of like a Jorwalk mode here. I uh, don't know what to call it. <laughs> anyway. That was my terrible game of Contra Hardcore. Let me go ahead and fire up. Um, oh, there it is. Castlevania. It's called Vampire Killer. For the Japanese version. John Morris has the... Seemingly has the... Belmont... Vampire killer. Not sure if he's related to the Belmonts though. I remember the Japanese, I mean the American uh, advertisements on magazine kind of shows that he is. Like he's a, like his uh, grave was dug out of a Belmont uh, tomb, if you all remember that. It says the plot thickens and we see graves of Simon. Uh, John Morrison. Eric. But um, pretty sure they're not related. So maybe it's just an ad. And, um, you know, one of these days I'll probably stream this game, play, uh, spend more time with it. As of now, I'm just going through, like, most of the games included on the Genesis Mini. 
And uh, it is a good excuse to go over this games once again. So I don't believe I've spent that much time playing this game. The game is actually much easier with uh, Eric with his spear and his high jump, but I'm going traditional Castlevania here. Anyway, I suppose that's it for this video. I'm just I just went over the two Konami games included uh, in the Genesis Mini. I'm glad Konami did support this system. They're, they seem to be a fan of these mini classic mini systems. Of course, they're gonna have their own in the form of the PC Engine Mini since they own Hudson nowadays. And that would include the uh, Akumajo Dracula Rondo of Blood. Uh, I've seen Castlevania 4 in the SNES, 1 and 2 on the NES. Too bad we didn't get 3 anywhere. For the PS Classic, it's unfortunate Symphony of the Night was not included. That would have uh, made the PS Classic for all it is much more worth it. I know a lot feels that they really Sony shortchanged uh, that system. I still like it though. It's easily can be easily be modded. And uh, it's like they planned that all along. They didn't give much effort because they know it will just be hacked anyway. Konami did have the presence there in the form of Metal Gear. Solid. not familiar this is actually the tune from facing Dracula in the first NES game but that is not Dracula of course At this point in this game it only gets better from here and like I said I'll probably stream through this game next time and that's it for this video just wanted to show a pair of Konami games included here in the Genesis Mini and um, yeah it's been worth it you're watching 8-bit days a week please comment like subscribe thanks for watching